one. And we will also get a chance to see um, a terrific amateur fighter in Gerson Ravello, who fought for the Dominican Republic in the Olympics and was also a, a U.S. champion. And he's a guy who's 2-0 as a pro. And also very big in New Jersey, awarded by the New Jersey Hall of Fame as its Amateur Boxer of the Year. Very quick, explosive power. He certainly comes to please the fans. And his opponent, Tom uh, Barker, a journeyman, tough night for him to pull an upset. Well, he's coming in here not as the fighter with the reputation. He would like to catch Jerson Ravello off guard. That's a big task for him. It is indeed. Well, sit back, relax, and enjoy what we think is going to be a very interesting and exciting evening of boxing. And first up, we will have uh, our middleweights, Jerson Ravello, the amateur champion, taking on Tommy Barker. We'll be right back. Corporate Sponsors International's World Class Championship Boxing is brought to you by Corona, La Cerveza Mas Fina, Corona Extra, a proud sponsor of World Class Championship Boxing. And by Pennzoil, like boxing champions in the ring, Pennzoil Motor Oil is in all the well-maintained engines. Pennzoil, the number one motor oil in sales in the United States. And by Cardenas Markets. Visit your local Cardenas Markets located in Ontario, Montclair, Moreno Valley, and Pomona, and by the beautiful Sands Hotel and Casino in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Here at the Sands Hotel and Casino, we are eagerly awaiting what we think is going to be a very entertaining uh, evening of boxing. And uh, in a moment or two, we're going to get uh, amateur champion, former amateur champion, now he's a pro, Jerson Ravello against Tommy Barker. You see some of the fans here at the Sands as we make what uh, we hope will be a number of stops here at this uh, casino that has a rich boxing history. And you, of course, are from here in Atlantic City, and you've attended many, many fights here at the Sands. All I remember in the 1980s when Frank the Animal Fletcher would yeah. pack them in here in some great slugfests and wars that he had. And we are at perhaps the beginning of maybe another revival of Atlantic City boxing. Mm -hmm. They're waiting for a convention center to be built here, and it's almost finished. That's good for your rooms, and that's good for everything. With the big fights, you can put other fights around it, and the Sands coming to the forefront here. They've had a couple fights, and talk of uh, maybe some, you know, maybe some permanent things at this property. And you can see the boxing fans are very enthusiastic. They always have been over the years. You and I have announced zillions of fights uh, here in this town, and many in the 80s, as we said, at this hotel. And um, you're right, Atlantic City had just a brief lull period where there were fewer fights, but now it's really starting to pick up. Here we are at the Sands Hotel and Casino in Atlantic City on the boardwalk. I'm Al Bernstein along with Dave Bontemple. We're so happy that you joined us. And uh, we are getting ready for uh, a very intriguing evening of boxing. And it is going to start off with a gentleman who was a tremendous amateur, Jerson Ravello, taking on Tommy Barker. And uh, we will look at all the particulars involving this matchup. Jason Ravello, uh, as we mentioned, an excellent amateur champion, but the man who is entering right now, Tommy Barker, comes in here with not such a wonderful record, a sub-500 record, but a guy who is uh, hoping very much that he can turn things around this evening and um, maybe catch the Jerson Ravello looking past him. Well, he's got seven fights coming in here. He'll figure that Jerson Ravello has two. Perhaps he feels that he learned a lot of those losses and he'll be able to apply that one here. That basically has to be your mindset yeah. if you're going to go in at 1-6 and, and face the guy who other people are talking about. You've got to believe that your schedule is stronger. Yeah, and there have been great amateur champions, even Olympic champions, that stumbled coming out of the block. It's not like it hasn't happened before. 
So we'll see if Tommy Barker is the man that can make it happen uh, this evening. As Dave mentioned, he comes in with that unimposing one and six record, but he's he's got the experience factor, and that's what he's going to hang his hat on uh, during the course of this evening, to be sure. And in a moment, we will see Jerson Ravello coming in, a young man who, uh, as we said, represented the Dominican Republic in the Olympics, even though he is a United States citizen, and we'll explain how that happened. Hey, he took advantage of dual citizenship, and after not getting it here, you know, he was able to go over and get it as part of the Dominican Republic. And that was part of a bizarre new element of the Olympics where you had to go to the America's qualifiers, not just go to your own country. And that basically presented an opening for him. He was one of the few who benefited. Many fighters found it more difficult, but for Jerson Ravello, it was a nice opening. And it gave him a chance uh, to fight in the Olympic Games. Lost a very close match in the first round of the Olympics. But here he is, he's 2-0 as a professional and a young man that many, many people believe will be something very special as a pro. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape and see how these two fighters match up. They got Ravello and Barker. Ravello a little bit younger, Barker a little bit taller. He's got a two inch reach advantage. Let's see how he uses it in this fight. And the rules, no standing eight count, no three knockdown rule. Fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. Only referee can stop the fight, and of course, it is scored by a 10-point must system. Actually, there are only a handful of states that don't have that now. Illinois, I think, is one. But probably that's better discussed at another time. Anyway, we're getting ready to, to kick things off here. And to do so, let's go up to the very dapper Dean Stone. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to you, and we welcome you to Corona's World Class Championship Boxing, presented by Corporate Sponsors International, under the promotion of Duva Boxing, in association with the Sands Casino Hotel, Atlantic City, Pennzoil, Connodinus Markets, Simon Eyes Car Wash, and Corona La Cerveza Mas Fina. This bout is scheduled for four rounds in the middleweight division. Your referee in charge of the action, Frank Cappuccino. Introducing first in the red corner, wearing red, black, blue, and white, weighing in at 171 pounds. From Buffalo, New York, he has a professional record of one victory with six defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting Tommy Parker. His opponents in the blue corner, wearing black and red, weighs in at 168 pounds. El hijo de la República Dominicana, now fighting out of Newark, New Jersey. It's a personal record. Two victories, one coming by way of knockout with no defeats. Thomas de Caballeros, ladies and gentlemen, presenting Jerson Ravel. Good evening, gentlemen. You were both given your instructions, both used touch gloves. Go back to the corner, wait for the bell. Now I know. They'll stay there. Don't wait. Don't wait. <laughs> so we're just about set to go. Jerson Ravel, Ravello, excuse me. Um, you see him there against Tommy Barker across the way. And we will get our first look at this amateur champion who is now 2-0 as a professional. Velo is 23 years of age, and uh, Tommy Barker is 25, as we noted. Big left hook, and already Tommy Barker in a world of trouble. We figured to find out what kind of chin Tommy Barker has very early, and Jerson Ravello will test it. Ravello graduated from uh, high school in Newark in 1995, but wants to study computer programming in the future. Uh, he is stepping right to Tommy Barker, moving with a lot of confidence. Very smooth movement by Jerson Ravello. Walking in and then firing the jab. That was a crunching body shot. Ravello really going after Tommy Barker, trying anything to go, get it. Go. You gotta stop holding, brother. 
Ravello is really going after him now using uh, power shots with both hands. At the rate this is going for Tommy Barker, one of his allies will be Frank Cappuccino. <laughs> How soon can he get in there and, and, and put a stop to it if Ravello keeps this up? We're halfway through the first round and Tristan Ravello has come out with a barrage against Tommy Barker. Ravello, the Olympian from the Dominican Republic who became a United States citizen in 1998. And uh, he won a gold medal at the U.S. Challenge Cup, beating Jeff Lacey, who was also a terrific fighter in the middleweight division. And he's 2-0 oh as pro. And he's having his way with Tommy Barker. Good left hook downstairs. With the tremendous body shots here and good leverage and balance by Ravello as he finishes up his combinations. Right. Break, step Under back, a minute step left back, to go back. as Tommy Barker tries to get through a very tough first round. <coughs> Schedule for four. Rivello has his two wins. He knocked out.